Hey everyone, so if you are following our channel from past few days, you already know that we have been posting about the ongoing essential hiring for Pada and Sasa role and we are giving all the updates. But today we are again here with some essential new hirings. So this hiring is totally separate from the Pada and Sasa hiring. This is going to be one of the biggest essential hirings you can see. So already Accenture have hired for this role once but again they have re-released this particular hiring. So let's see all about these hirings, what are the eligibility criteria, what are the process, what are the steps, how you can apply. I will give you the link of the application in the description but do not apply without checking all of this because uh, this is a special hiring. So let's see before moving on if you are new to our channel make sure to click on the subscribe button, join our telegram and whatsapp channel from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding and interview updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out and before starting with the essential new hiring i there is a infosys of campus uh, hiring going on for the specialist programmer role for the 9.5 lp cdc sp role so if you have not checked that yet make sure to check that video i'll give that video's link also in the description box so the hiring that have been released by Accenture is now is going to be Hackdefa. So Hackdefa already hiring once happened but this is a special hiring I said because this is only for eligible for women candidates. Okay so if you are a men candidate and watching this video you can skip the rest of this because uh, this is only eligible for uh, women candidates only. What is Hackdefa you can read from here I'll give you the link in the description. Okay this is going to be uh, a goal for gender balanced. Okay so to maintain a certain ratio between men and women candidates in a company they uh, particularly higher women candidates to this activa and what is the eligibility criteria the competition is only for individual participants okay so you cannot perform in a group you have to be uh, participate in as an uh, as an individual only female candidates are eligible streams that are eligible so B B tech M E M tech M C A and M S C if you are doing then you have to have a C S or I T okay so for B B tech and M E M tech and M C A all the uh, branches are eligible but for M S C only C S and I T branches are eligible okay so you should be graduated in 2023 or 2024 so 2023 and 2024 batches are eligible for this so this is also a good opportunity for 2023 batch this is going to be one of your last opportunities to get uh, um, to get get a job so if you are still not placed, placed or not uh, placed but not onboarded you can apply for this. this is going to be a very good opportunity for you and first year second year and third year engineering students are not eligible so you should have to be in your uh, fourth uh, year or final year uh, no essential employee cannot participate in this okay so if you're already an essential employee you cannot participate in this and registration is mandatory okay uh, scoring will be automated and will be based on four major parameters they have already given the parameters so efficiency means uh, your time complexity of the code so if your time complexity of the code is less you are going to get better uh, performance and if same goes for your space complexity so if you have a better time and space complexity uh, okay uh, then uh, if so if you have a less time and space complexity you are going to get better marks logical correctness of the code and semantic analysis all these four parameters they are going to consider the right to permit or restrict participation uh, depends on essential okay what are the rewards let's see first of all the first prize will be a macbook second prize ipad third prize smartwatch these things they have mentioned 10 runners up will get 5000 each and round is going to be qualifier round that is going to be round one the date of this particular round is going to be 7th july so how this round is going to happen this is going to be a 90 minute eliminator round you can choose your preferred programming language from a curated list and you have to uh, solve the coding challenge assessment okay and if you are uh, one of the best performers you are going to go for the second round as the semi-finals semi-final round will be coding contest again where you will uh, navigate through it at uh, where there will be some multiple coding scenarios and it will be 120 minutes long and if you are clearing this also you are going for the round 3 that is happening on 21st july so that is also going to be 120 minutes long so this is going to be the uh, link for registration i'll give you the link uh, make sure to apply as soon as you are seeing this video registration deadline will be 28 june 2024 so before 28 june you have to apply for this okay so make sure to apply and you can share this with your unplacements as well